Welcome back to my garage. Last time we found out that pulses in the exhaust has been the problem all along. Why my engine wouldn't run, even start. By some like weird struck of... Uh, I've never had this happen before. So just a weird coincidence that this pipe is exactly long enough to have the pulses into or some some harmonic of the pulses interfere at low enough rpm so that it won't even start it could say something about the effectiveness of the exhaust duct and the and the pipe hopefully and that there's power to be had in here now we need to find a way to have the engine start without making too much uh, complicated stuff I think the first thing will be to just remove this EGT probe uh, sensor and uh, and see if that slight leak will uh, be enough to to weaken the pulses in the exhaust system and maybe let it get past that problem area. I've encountered problem areas at higher RPM lots of times, but uh, never at at like idle. And it needs the pipe, it can't run without the pipe, it won't start and run properly without the pipe. And it won't start and run properly with it mounted. It will rev up if the pipe is this far away from the exhaust duct, which is uh, kind of strange. We'll start it up with this little leak and see how it behaves, if it will rev past the problem area. If it will, we can just mount a small nitro RC carb or something here for, uh, for shutting off the leak when it's, into the, when it's into the power band, or at least past the problem area. Enough. Let's remove the stinger insert and see if it behaves any better. Now the stinger restriction is not 15 millimeters anymore, it's uh, 20 millimeters. Let's see what happens. Well, that's not enough either. got a little stub here it's just a loose fit but uh there the fuse went i know what's happening now there's some uh, really bad weather in the area and uh the electrical system is uh struggling like it often does up here so a short extension tube i'm gonna just hold it and uh see what happens Nothing. So we know now that a smaller stinger and this hole from the EGT probe is not enough to lower the pressure in the pipe and uh, weaken the pulses enough for it to run. 
and neither is making it slightly longer with this extension pipe. So that's not enough. We know that it will run fine with a, a long pipe like this. But a long pipe like this would uh, not be... It's not meant for running a long pipe like this because this wouldn't produce power at the RPM range where I want it to produce power for making proper power. This would be like low RPM daily driver stuff. Versus this, you can see the difference. So this much shorter pipe means it's meant to make power or the power band is at much higher RPM. But obviously that higher RPM power band is interfering with, uh, with low, low, low RPM running. And we'll have to sort that somehow. We need to introduce a even bigger leak or a large volume, like a donkey dick, if you, that's an internal joke, like an ATAC valve or just a dump valve. It's really weird. I've never experienced this myself earlier and I've never heard about anyone having this problem. Like the engine won't start and run with the pipe <laughs> mounted, regardless of the shape. Hmm. It's a bummer having to cut into this pipe to make a valve attachment. I'm trying to think of other ways. After some thinking, I think I'm gonna weld this wastegate flange to the belly of the pipe. And uh, for now use this wastegate as the, as the valve to release pressure at the low RPM. I don't want to mess up the header area. And as you might notice, the header is really short and uh, there's not really room for a slippy pipe, as I know people have suggested. Because uh, it would just screw up the whole geometry here, because the header is so short. So short. Let's hope a big gaping hole in the belly is enough to, to weaken the pulses. Enough. I don't think volume is the problem, even though this pipe has a lot larger volume, but also is much longer. Because, uh, like it would, if volume was the problem, it uh, would be a, it wouldn't be that much of a problem at low RPM. I think it's actually the pulses, like some harmonic of the pulses, a tenth harmonic or something, that's still strong enough to, uh, to screw up the transfer of mixture. I was hesitant screwing more with this pipe because uh, it's so beautifully welded by Christopher Mortensen, I think. Please excuse me if that's the wrong name. <laughs> I think it was him. Has to be done. And I gotta stop treat things as the final product. We're prototyping here, after all.
My welding turned out fairly okay this time, except for that one spot where I blew a gigantic hole and had to improvise. But uh, should be fine. Let's see if this makes a difference. Hopefully it will. And then we can continue. Continue the journey. to respond and rev a little bit with uh, manipulation of uh, of that hole but uh, really weird behavior I'm gonna try the Yasuni R4 pipe and see oh fuck see what happens if we're lucky now this will fit right on I don't think so though but well, good enough, good enough. Sorry about the noise, I had to turn the exhaust extraction back on because uh, I didn't want to be too poisoned. Pipe sensitive, do you want your engine to be? <laughs> being blessed with the most unusual and uh, strange weird problems like so it doesn't want to rev with this pipe either actually it doesn't want to start at all it starts without the pipe and it runs and revs if I hold the pipe like almost onto the flange <laughs> And also how it ran with the wastegate hole, where I could partially cover it up, it would run. Not with it open, and not with it closed, but partially covered. 
sometimes <laughs> and then sometimes it would rev with it with it completely open extremely pipe sensitive why why I think I found the plug, but it's running much better with the uh, super mellow pipe. Which is weird. Like it's uh, not that it's running better, but it's it's actually running somewhat. I think I found the plug, but uh, I've never experienced this kind of behavior where it won't run at all with some pipes and it will run with others. It is really weird. We're still in the weird problem territory. Huh. We've stumbled upon some weird contradictory maybe behavior here. So recap. It does not want to start and run with this pipe. With this hole capped off. It will start and run. It seems with this pipe just like three millimeters away from the flange with a three millimeter gap between the between the spigot and this thing maybe this is called the spigot anyway it will start with this big hole there but it won't run it will run with uh, sometimes when I cover the hole partly this is a short really short pipe it won't start or run at all with this pipe this big fat pipe which is much longer than this one. It will both start and run with this pipe, which is much skinnier than this one and more mellow and much shorter than this one. But actually pretty much the same length as this one. There must be a resonance issue of sorts here. It's just weird because you'd think that with this short pipe the pulses would travel more times up and down at low rpm in each cycle and be weaker and make less of a difference versus in this pipe where they have a longer distance to travel and will travel fewer times up and down well actually maybe it's just that they're traveling say seven times up and down at 2000 rpm and uh with this longer pipe, they return at the right moment. And with this shorter pipe, they return at the wrong moment, at really low RPM. That stuff is going on, it's just normally the pulses are weak enough to not make much of a difference at like idle and low RPM. Huh. It's weird how this big hole didn't fix the problem because uh, now there shouldn't be much pressure in the pipe at all like imagine having a 35 millimeter stinger that surely destroys the destroys the pulses should destroy the pulses or at least weaken them a lot i'm just trying to come up with a game plan here where to go next i first thought and maybe that is the problem that it's uh with the big exhaust port and the high exhaust timing it's uh it's the exhaust is functioning as a transfer and there's fresh air fresh air being drawn in through the exhaust diluting the mixture making it far too lean to run that could be an issue but, uh, but even this short pipe should eliminate that and uh, it's weird that it's running with a leak and not not without the leak <laughs> there's just no reason to continue with this pipe because uh, it is far too long for for making any power from 50 cc so there's no point in making it work with this even though it will start and run with this we really need to 
make it work with something with these dimensions. And it should work with these dimensions. They're, uh, the proportions are what they should be and uh, the length is tuned for high RPM power like it should be. And, uh, I'm, it, I'm really puzzled by why it has such an effect at really really low RPM. I think the whole engine is resonating in a really inconvenient way now. From the end of the pipe to the end of the carb. Might be a good idea to try the smaller carb just to to change the Helmholtz frequency of the crankcase and uh, and see what happens with this pipe with a hole there. So weaker pulses in the pipe and uh, and a higher Helmholtz frequency in the um, in the case. Okay, let's see how it behaves. Progress. I think changing the frequency by making the the intake hole of the of the crankcase smaller got us out of the destructive resonance area down low. It still won't start with that hole in the pipe completely covered, but it will start with it slightly cracked open, and then it will run with it completely covered. We'll have to mount some kind of a tiny valve to that hole. Well, actually, let's try a blanking plate and give it some more goes with it completely covered and see if we can get it past the initial startup phase and into the power band. And then we can just blank off that hole again. Let's try that. Not the most camera friendly setup I've got going here. So much stuff in the way and so much stuff in the way for uh, placing the tripod. Let's see how it behaves. Let's crack it slightly open.
It won't start with the hole covered, it won't start with it fully open, it will start with some careful manipulation of the, of the amount of leak. As soon as it's running and spinning fast enough, the hole can be open or covered or half open or whatever. It runs regardless. Which means we'll just have to spin the engine much faster for starting. This says it spins it up to 2800 RPM. It's more like 2,500 or something. That's not enough. Maybe with something that can spin it up to like three, 4,000. And uh, this won't be an issue anymore. There's no point in fixing this if it only affects, and it seems like it does, only affects like low, low, low RPM, which uh, is like pointless. I've never encountered behavior like this before. It's really strange. But anyways. I'm gonna go inside and edit and upload this video and tomorrow we'll start working on a faster spinning starter. I'll do some googling, maybe I can find a drill that spins faster. Or we'll have to use uh, maybe a spindle motor or something and uh, make, a, make an adapter for this deal. Something. You might notice I'm trying to end these videos on high notes now. <laughs> See you next time.